Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Those of you that watch my videos know that in the past several videos I've mentioned the Lightroom Virtual Summit. Well, I promise this is the last video that I will mention the Lightroom Virtual Summit. In the description below this video, I'll have more information about the summit and you could check it out. Now, as far as this video is concerned, it's going to be very short. I wanna share with you one little part of a class that I'll be teaching in this year's Lightroom Virtual Summit. And specifically, the class is on post-processing black and white images. And what I'm going to show you actually isn't just applicable to Lightroom. So if you use another raw editor, you could do this in that raw editor as well. I have this image in Lightroom and for all intents and purposes, it is completely and fully processed. I've done everything I need to do in the basic tab. I've done the black and white mix. I've even added a little bit of a vignette like that. So it's pretty much done. Well, one slider that is often neglected when processing an image in black and white is the tint slider. As you can see, uh, it's as shot right now. So I haven't moved the temperature or tint. Watch what happens when I move the tint slider, and I'd like you to look at the grasses here in the foreground when I move it. Do you see what's happening? I'm getting a lot of tonal variance just by moving this tint slider back and forth. Now you could look throughout the image as well. I'll keep moving it. You could see the sky gets affected in odd ways as well. So, what I recommend you do is when you edit an image and you think you might be done, and it's a black and white image, image of course, go to that tint slider and move it and see if it's improving the image in any way. You now, we all have our own tastes, our own likes and dislikes, and you may want the grass like in the foreground area here to be uniformly dark or as uniformly dark as possible. In that case, you're going to move for this image, the tint slider towards the far left, but maybe you like more tonal variance in those grasses. So you want to maybe move, in this case, the tint slider a little more to the right. And we have this kind of lighter gray, then the darker gray, and then lighter gray, but whatever works for you. So you could see, and we could even move it somewhere in the middle and we have some kind of the tips of the grasses lighter and so on. So don't neglect the tint slider. Now the temp slider usually just acts as like a brightness control. So you move it to the right and things get brighter, move it to the left and things get darker. So for black and white photography, the temp slider isn't really applicable, but check out that tint slider. And again, even if you don't use Lightroom, uh, try it out in the application you use, it will do the same thing. So check that out. And again, I'd like to thank everyone for your indulgence on listening, listening to me talk about the Lightroom Virtual Summit. It's really a great um, thing to take part in. I'm very honored to be included uh, as one of the instructors in this year's summit. And um, I guess I'm kind of psyched, so I talk about it a lot. But I promise I won't talk about it going forward. Check it out, though, in the description below this video. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.